am so excited to finally be filming this video by the title you guys already know what's happening today it's a super exciting day benny who is my husband finally comes home today so for those of you who don't know my husband and pretty much my little family has been separated for goodness how long has it been I think it's been over two months, you guys. In our military family, we were stationed in Hawaii for about like four years and the military is now sending our family to California to be stationed there. We're originally from California, so literally his family and my family are like an hour away from where we're being stationed from. So the reason why we ended up getting separated for a little bit was because I'm pregnant with our third daughter, Everly, and around 12 weeks, she was diagnosed with alabar holoposencephaly and trisomy 13. With both of those disorders, I can have her at any given time, and I need just a bunch of specialists to monitor myself and Everly. My husband and myself just talked about it, and since all of our family is in California, and that's where we're being stationed, we just decided it was in my best interest for health my health for everly's sake for myself to get settled first in california that way i can find doctors find a hospital in case i do deliver her early just be surrounded by family and it just didn't make sense for me to stay in hawaii with my husband and having to you know go through the whole process of moving everything and then getting on an airplane at like almost 30 weeks pregnant and it just didn't make sense just thinking about it now it just seems like it seems like we made the right decision because I am so achy and so tired. Like physically, I'm just so drained and I can't even imagine like sitting on an airplane for like five hours with both of the girls and this giant belly. At the time when I had to make the decision if I wanted to stay in Hawaii and just wait until it was time to leave, wasn't sure it was the best decision for our family because just the thought of possibly giving birth to Everly sooner, I just couldn't like wrap my mind around making that decision. It honestly would have broke my heart if I ended up delivering her early and my husband wasn't here. He wasn't, you know, able to hold her. He wasn't able to meet her. Thankfully, all of our prayers paid off. Everly is a fighter. Here I am sitting here filming this for you guys, almost 30 weeks pregnant and my husband just landed our family will finally be complete you can finally 100 percent say california is our home anyways here is the belly today almost 30 weeks she is growing rose who are you waiting for daddy are you excited yeah. aurora are we gonna see daddy yeah are you excited yeah. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> I don't know. Gotta wait. And then we're gonna go out to dinner, right? <laughs> Excited, Rory? Yeah. <laughs> Running in the woods alone and still Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Try to keep it up and stand in the tall Why don't you stay, stay cause I could really use a friend Stay, please stay cause my heart really needs a man Daddy. Where's my business? Mm. Did she look bigger? Freaking huge. Am I huge? Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's already around. Yeah. Yay! Daddy! Daddy! Why don't you say? I'm not really here. I'm not on the phone. <laughs>
Why don't you stay home? Take a psychic.